Have you just upgraded to iOS 18? Before you dive into all of the new features that iOS 18 has, you want to do a few checks just to make sure that the right settings are turned on for your phone and so that you have a smooth iOS 18 experience. Let's get started. All of these checks can be done within the settings app. The first check that we are going to look for is bringing devices close together. With iOS 17, we had name drop, which allows you to put two iPhones close together and you'll be able to share your contact details. Now there has been a lot of misinformation about this particular feature. And if you are the type where bringing the phones close together would annoy you, especially if you have multiple iPhones, then you can just tap on the search bar at the top, search for bring devices together for AirDrop, tap on that. And then here is the setting right in the middle of the screen. If you want to turn that off, you can. It's not going to affect your day-to-day -day unless you are the type to use name drop. The next setting you want to make sure that has not been either turned on or turned off depending on your usage is significant locations. With significant locations, in case you don't know, your iPhone will track the places you visit it often and it will actually store that information in order to make your maps experience better. But if you do not want your iPhone to literally track where you frequent, you can either tap on the top and, and we'll just search for location services and we'll just tap on that. And then we can scroll to the bottom, tap on system services and then scroll to the bottom of this page and you will see significant locations. I have it off and if you want to turn it off, this is where you'll be able to turn it off. If you want to turn it on, this is also the same section for you. This is a really important setting to check because you may not want your iPhone to keep track of your locations because in addition to keeping track of your locations, it will definitely eat up a lot of battery life. This next section is going to be a pretty big one depending on how many apps you have installed. What you should check after updating to iOS 18 is to make sure that your app permissions remain the same as they did in iOS 16, 17, or whichever version you have updated from. With iOS 18, the settings app actually changes the locations of all of your apps. So at the very bottom, you will see apps. You can tap on apps, and then you can tap on any particular app that you want to check. This step is going to take either a very short time or a very long time, depending on how many apps you have. It's very, very unlikely that updating from iOS 17 to 18 would actually turn these toggles either on or off, but it's something you definitely want to check. And the last setting that you should check is RCS messaging. Now, RCS messaging will make your conversations with your Android friends a lot better with typing indicators, sending higher quality photos and images. And in order to check that, you can tap on apps at the bottom. You can search for messages and scroll towards the middle and you will see RCS messaging and you wanna make sure that this toggle is turned on. During my beta period, this toggle was actually off and I had to go in and turn it on. But I believe that by the time you check this setting, it's most likely going to be turned on automatically. If it's not, then this is how you'll be able to enable this particular feature. And that is it. Those are the settings that you want to check after updating to iOS 18. Are there other checks that you think are important? Leave them down in the comments. Also, I have a playlist of other iOS 18 features that you will want to be aware of. Just make sure you can check that out when you get a chance. Consider subscribing if you are new. Thank you all for watching this video. It really helps me out. 
And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care.